Hey guys, I am Wizarding World YouTuber Victoria McLean and I am here at the Harry Potter Studios. I'm home. This is my, I think, 34th or 35th visit and I cannot wait. I'm going to do a full tour of the shop today for you guys because I've never done one ever on the history of my channel. I have never done a full shop tour. So today is going to be such an exciting day for me because I really have time because I'm going to go off on my own. Monica, say hi darling. We're twinsies today in our robes but we are going to have the best time today so come with me and let's explore the magical world of Harry Potter together. <laughs> Oh, look at these boxes, right? How amazing would that be if they sold them? How freaking amazing would it be if, they, if Warner Brothers actually sold those boxes? I'm so tempted to try and make one for myself. Oh, isn't this brilliant? I met the lady who does all these window displays, um, I think uh, last year, and oh my God, she was so lovely. Look at that mandrake. I want that mandrake. I don't want much. But I want that freaking mandrake, it's gotta be done. I love the designs in the Weasley Wizard Wheeze shop. It is just wicked, look at this. Look at that! How cool is that? Oh my God, this place is so amazing, it's like going home. Oh. Let's have a look at the other window, is it? See what they've got going on in here. Oh, it's the new one, it's the baby one. Do you remember I did that video of their new stock? Look at that, it's gone so loud. <laughs> That's so brilliant. Oh, look at the Weasley bit. This is just so cool, I love it. Right, let's just go in the shop, is it? Let's just go in the shop. Hey, darling. Look at this. Look at that sign, isn't that wicked? They've got props hidden around the shop. Now the original shop had so, I, I must admit, I'm not gonna lie, I actually prefer the old shop because it was so brilliantly done. It was so simple, but there was little things that you got hints of wherever you go. Here it's more like, I don't know, money spending a bit more, I don't know. It used to be the biggest shop in the world, the biggest Harry Potter shop. Unfortunately, New York took over, but I'm there in November, so I ain't complaining. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is this freaking mandrake. Look at that freaking mandrake. I'm having one. We get Monica's discounts, I'm really grateful, because she works for Warner Brothers. It's 18 pound, but how cute is that mandrake? Right, welcome guys to my first official full tour of the new Harry Potter shop. That's how long it takes me to do things like this, right? We go in the tour and we don't finish until nine o'clock, half past nine, and by that time, it's time to leave and we are literally being kicked out. So the girls have actually gone into the tour this morning and I'm hitting the shop before it gets crazy and half the stock is gone. So here we have almost full shelves of items. Look at this place. Oh, look at that up there. How wicked is that? Do you know what? I've never, ever noticed that, ever. Look how good that looks. Look how incredibly magnificent that is. It's beautiful. That is exquisite. Look at the shelves going round. I mean, this gives the wizarding world a run for its money in this shop. It really does. This is where you'll find your noble collection items, your carrot shop items, your Swarovski items. You know, you will find some beautiful things in this shop and I'm gonna show you it all. So this, this video is gonna be kind of filmed in weird, but wonderful ways, right? Because there's this shop is so like back to front and upside down and you know, all that sort of thing that you have to just take it all in as best as you can. 
It is absolutely incredible. Look at the displays, the carrot shop items. Aren't they stunning? And all the beautiful sterling silver work with the gorgeous Swarovski crystals embedded in these stunning character items. Look at that. And the chops. The chops. I'll just have one of everything, please. Look at this. They're so beautiful. It's dangerous coming in here, I tell you. <laughs> Look at all of those. This is Alex and Annie. It's very <laughs> magical, but it's not magical for my bank account. I'll tell you that the money disappears like that. And this is also where you can get your Mina Lima prints as well. They do some exclusive ones sometimes for the, for the tour only. So you can't get them anywhere else unless you come to the tour. But how beautiful is all of this? Look at these prints up here. How amazing is that? They're concept arts from the designing of what they hoped it would look like when they did the filming. Look at this. You can buy the little prints as well, the little kind of cells. I have got quite a few of these myself. I've got a few from the Philosopher's Stone when the tour first opened. I've mentioned these before. They are the Noble Collection artifact boxes and each one is amazing. The 35 pound, which I'm sorry, is very very good because Hermione's is my favorite one not only do you get a beautiful poster of the your ball but you also get this glass love potion bottle I love mine it's in my Weasley Wizardry's bathroom and I love Ron look at the poster in Ron's box isn't that so cute I love it they are well worth the money these artifact boxes and of course the Noble Collection you know you can't go wrong with Noble Collection and then these are Department 56 Look at how beautiful they are. Department 56 always go above and beyond their collections. They have always been a brilliant ex example of how Harry Potter items should be done. Maybe not so much at Noble Collection standard, but they are absolutely exquisite. I loved seeing the new range at the Spring Fair this year. This is where you can get custom items done. Look at that beautiful picture of Albus Dumbledore. Look at that. I love all the little things they've got going on here, you know, the staircases, nothing is here on, like by accident, it's all been placed beautifully. You've got Hogwarts monogrammed school trunk, £69, you can get that done here. You can get little key rings done and little uh, charms done with your own address on or somebody else's address, maybe you want to buy it as a present just amazing what they can do here. Noble collection items again, apart from obviously you've got Star Race as well, the Janice that I gave her that for her birthday a couple of years ago. Oh, and we've got the Charmed Aroma items that are new to the tour. But if you can get them, I highly recommend the Golden Egg and the Golden Snitch because the smell of those candles is incredible. And then the necklaces you get, wow, they are just exquisite they really are and then these ones here these are the example of what you can get in this horcrux cup and then the cup is obviously usable once you've finished the ring you can buy separately and i'm pretty sure you can buy the necklace separate the, the glasses as well separately i would like to try and get hold of the slytherin locket but it's not available on the website at the moment and then we've got the beautiful golden egg that comes in this as well. And it opens with a little pearl inside. All sterling silver, but not real pearl, but they are sterling silver. Down here we've got some more Noble Collection items as well. And then we have some lovely things for your kitchen. The only thing I didn't like about this set is they have these, right? But they only have ones with three holes. So there's not like a three hole one for pepper and then a one hole one for salt. They're all three holes. Never got that. I, I would have liked to have the, for them to have done a one with one hole and then one with three holes. So at least that way, you know which one's pepper and you know which one's salt, but they haven't. These little goblets are gorgeous. Look at that, little tumblers. I love the patterns on this one as well. They're beautiful really beautiful and you've got little trinket trays and everything as well just so you've got your house pride in your house i do love these pint glasses as well they've only got ravenclaw here i think on display but they do do all of the houses i'm pretty sure then you've got plates the only thing with these is don't put them in the dishwasher because the gold does come off i'm afraid and that tray 
is beautiful. And in here, you've got coasters. So you've got which coaster you want. That's nice, isn't it? It's solid, it's like stone, it's like granite. Very nice. We still have Christmas decorations. We still got Christmas decorations going on in the Harry Potter studios. Even though it is April, it's still an important thing because there's people that would be coming from all over the world or have never been able to go to the tour before. They finally come, it's not Christmas. So at least they can buy Christmas presents or Christmas decorations for when it is Christmas. So I think it looks, it's really lovely that they have that option here. And then you've got the Nemesis Now goblets. Monica has just got that one from me. So uh, Noble Collection, Hogwarts Express at the top and then load Noble Collection items further down as well. Some of the pride of the Noble Collection items. How beautiful are all they? And then some more Noble Collection items. We've got the, De the Dementors Crystal Ball, just there. You've got Tom Riddle's Diary. You've got the Golden Egg. You've got the Pro De Divination's Crystal Ball. And then the Prophecy Crystal Ball as well, which is much, much cheaper than the Divination's one. I think it's because of the size. And then for all those young Harry Potter, Harry Potter fans, the young Hermione Granger fans, we have officially licensed Hermione Granger dresses. Please bring out the adult ones because we all want to wear them. <laughs> Again, more Christmas decorations as well here. Beautiful, beautiful. We've got some stocking uh, holders for things as well to go on there. Or is that tree topper? Sorry, that's a tree topper, my mistake. I am so, so sorry. And then we've got some lovely, these are for holding like Christmas decorations if you want. Or maybe I thought hanging a golden snitch off there. How pretty would that be? Or maybe the Swarovski golden snitch just hanging there. Or like the Hogwarts Express or something. The beautiful ornaments that they have there. This one is 32 pound. So, but the weight on that is insane. I think that's a little bit much. I do, however, love the detail of all the Yule Ball detail around the base. That's really pretty, isn't it? I do love that. More Christmas decorations on display. And then further down, depending on what your house, you can have a stocking hanger as well for your fireplace. We've got some beautiful Mina Lima prints here. I think these are the standard prints. Yes, they are. But aren't they beautiful? They're not signed by Mina Lima. However, they are limited to only a thousand prints. You can also get the Mina Lima books from here as well. However, I will say get them from the website directly, depending where, well, no matter where you are in the world, because they do ship worldwide, because they will sign them for you as well if you order a signed copy at no extra cost. We've got some amazing prints here. Look at these, look at all the little kind of detail. How amazing is that? I really like this hat. This hat has been talking to me all day. I really like it. I know it's not interactive like the other one is they've just released, but the detail of it is fantastic. It's £29 and the interactive one is 40, uh, 39 in case you didn't know, Hogwarts Legacy is also a thing. You can buy your Hogwarts Legacy game here as well. So we're, into, we're going into Madame Malcolm's robes for all occasions. Uh, there is robes and tops and hoodies and cardigans dotted all over the place. So you can pick and choose which one you like. So these are your Hufflepuff, which Monica actually fell in love with when she was in here earlier because it's just got a yellow badge and that's it. They're incredibly thick. The feeling of them is amazing and the price is £60, which is about the same price as Spirit Jersey here. So you've got a Spirit Jersey here underneath and this is 55 So yeah, it's up to you, but you've got some beautiful Slytherin ones to match with the silver embroidery. You've got Ravenclaw, which only has a couple of sizes left. And there's the silver embroidery, that's really nice actually. But then with my hormones, I'll get too hot. Then obviously you've got Gryffindor down here. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? And then a lovely knitted top as well that Janet's actually managed to find on eBay for like 10 quid, the jammy cow. If you miss your lounge fly bags or your Daniela Nicole, you have a whole range of them right here for you. You've got some beautiful, I think it's Daniela Nicole. Yep, love potion bags here. 
The Amor Tangier is new to the website. It's if you go to the website, the Harry Potter website, the Harry Potter shop, and then click the collections and go what's new in, you will find this and you will find the matching purse by Loungefly on the website as well. So you're all good for that. Danielle and Nicole clutch bags and rucksacks as well in Gryffindor. They normally do all the houses. What I did really love when I came here earlier is they've got these bags down here. It's the Secrets of Dumbledore Harry Potter Loungefly bag, clutch bag. I really, 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 really want it and I get discount. But the reason why I think I might have to get it is the fact that Monica is here so we get discount and I've wanted it for ages and I really want it like I really want it I want that more than the clutch bag than the um, rucksack so we've got more bags down here we've got the new one which is exclusive to the tour as well the Hogwarts one I think is exclusive to the tour I'm not 100% sure we've got the Amortentia one which I've just shown you we've got like a Ravenclaw crossbody bag we've got more rucksacks we've got some gorgeous other Harry Potter items in here as well look at this one with a little pom-pom what's the price of this 68 pound for that that is a bit much for that it feels very thin and flimsy i was expecting that to be like 30 and that's a lot more money than the large fly bag i was just looking at so i am really tempted to get one now i like that but i i, I don't use coin purses anymore who who still has cash so going back to like some crossbody bags there for slytherin gryffindor more bags under here now let's have a walk around and see what we've got now at christmas they do tend to release these sort of jumpers with your initial answer like v but they never had v or m those two were always gone whenever i looked so i'm a little bit annoyed at that so i really hope they bring them back in because i really 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 want them um, but then we've also got all of these like this is the hufflepuff sections for all you proud hufflepuffs out there this is the Hufflepuff section. I love the banners. Look at the size of that thing. That's huge. And you can also, if you buy your robes here, you can have them embroidered with your name. But remember, if you do that, I don't know if you can take them back if anything happens. Um, if it comes undone or, or something happens with the stitching, then obviously you can do. But, you know, because I, I my robes are too small for me now, so I'm not going to wonder because they look perfect because they hardly ever get used. I'm wearing Maria's one today. Um, but I am going to ask them if I can replace it in July um, with a, a larger one. I'm wearing an extra large one now and it drowns me. These shirts are actually really nice. I think these are more for like men, perhaps, you know, aimed at the males. Or, you know, my mum would have loved this, but the Gryffindor one. I like that shirt. How much is that? So look, it's £50. Can't really see it in that light in. But yes, £50 is. Oh, there we are. That's better. I like the shirt, but I think that is going to be mahoosive on me. It's, it's down to my, my knees. So I think it's more for like the male or very tall people. I don't know how they think, you know, being a size XL is going to make me tall, but you know, yeah, I don't know. I like it, but is it really worth that much money? I don't think so. So I'm going to put that back. That can stay there. So anyway, we're at the Ravenclaw section. And as you can see, I was actually looking in a beautiful mirror of Eriset mirror, which is not for sale although it's not far off the size of the one you can get from pottery barn but that only ships in the us you can't get that for anywhere else so we've got the whole ravenclaw look here these jumpers are actually quite comfortable they're not like the itchy ones although now i'm saying that that does feel a little bit rough no i couldn't wear that i think i'd get really annoyed with it they do sizes three x small all the way up to double xl i think but they've only got xl here but it is actually really big of the robes they are massive they've got the cardigans they don't have the harry potter jumpers that they used to do i still got mine because i obviously um you can't buy them anymore so i've kept mine but look at these little bows look at that in that coat look at that isn't that just adorable i love that that's so cute and we've got ties here as well so we've got a tie. There's not many ties left. No, there's only three, four left. That's not bad. But look at that banner. That's brilliant. Oh my God, that's so soft. That's really soft. We've got head boy. We've got more hair, little hair clips as well. 
and then we come over to Gryffindor proud Gryffindors you're all shouting yay I can hear you from here honestly and uh, you've got some headbands there you've got the cardigans again and me and Maria actually swapped cardigans because I had a really small one she had a big one so we swapped round and blessed her the small one didn't fit her so she gave it to Janice instead so this is the Madame Malkin's robes for all occasions and, uh, and now we're going to move on to the next stage of the shop so I've actually got my reading glasses on so I'm dipping my head down to see what I'm looking at so we've got happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. I wonder which actor will be playing that or saying that in the new series. Let me know your thoughts below. I love these Noble Collection cushions. They are just so adorable and the little creatures, the little animals that you get in them. Look, look, they're adorable. They're so beautifully embroidered. You got the snake, you got the lion. Look, it's like a little lion. And you've got the little badger as well. Look, Natalie, it's yours. So we are now in like, this is almost like the Quidditch area where you'll find some Quidditch stuff. You've got your bags, you've got your t-shirts. What are they like? Oh, that's a, a Ravenclaw keeper, that is. You've got your fiber optic brooms as well that glow, which are really fun. They're only £25. I think that's brilliant for younger generations of Harry Potter. Just think of all the merchandise that we're bringing out for this new series. So exciting. So, so, so excited. I've done that many radio interviews. It's unbelievable. So many people are so excited about it. I do love this spirit jersey. I do love these spirit jerseys. They are really nice. £55, but still, I've got so many spirit jerseys, I've got to be really careful what I get. Because, you know, it's never ended for me. More Ravenclaw stuff. We've got these gorgeous hoodies again. Look at them. Gorgeous. Absolutely outstanding. Just amazing. Let me move on to Slytherin. Again, your Slytherin spirit jerseys. Looking good, looking good. Love these tankards. Aren't they lush? Look at the snake there, isn't that brilliant? I think you can buy them on the website. I'm not 100% sure. A lot of these things I think you can get in, in New York as well. Harry has this rucksack. It is in the attic because he was going to ruin it, but he's he used it for a lot of the time in school. And then when he finished with it, because they do last a hell of a long time, those rucksacks. And then it went in the attic then and kept safe. They've got a little one, a little rucksack there for the younger generation. Or if you want a smaller bag, umbrellas as well. And again, more tops. Love it, love it, love it. They've got something for everybody in this shop. I think even people who aren't genuinely Harry Potter fans have something in the shop that they might want to get, you know. They also sell the mascots on their own as well look at these aren't they gorgeous they're so cute so cute Gryffindors yay for Gryffindors look at these again spirit jersey Janice went right over to the spirit jersey she would like to get it she's not a hundred percent sure she does this thing where she carries it around with her and if she's not feeling it by the time she gets to the tail she puts it back I think that's quite well, quite good actually. It's, just, it's pretty impressive because you know, say she's spending an absolute blooming fortune, doesn't it? Look at these Slytherin snakes with the little scarves. Look at that, and that's so cute. You've got these light up tri wizard cups, which are actually very, very well priced. £14, but they are brilliant. Let me see if I can turn one on for you to see. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? £14 for that. I think that's freaking brilliant. That is so good. And I love it. I love the raven. Should be an eagle, though, with bronze. Yeah, maybe they'll get it right this time. And they'll use an eagle with bronze and blue. We've got plenty of socks for the sock lovers out there. Although they never have thick ones. It's always thin ones. And I love my thick socks. Apart from today, I am only wearing very thin, deathly, um, not deathly hallows, horcrux ones I am. 
This is where you get your personalization for your robes or your Quidditch tops, because you can get your Quidditch top. Don't put um, certain products, or, or I think I put, what did I put on my bicarbonate soda to get a stain out, because I actually, I don't know how, but it bleached my top. So the front of it has bleach, I don't know how. But this is where you get your personalization done. You also have one in New York as well. So you can get your stuff done on site while you wait or order it, get it done and come back for it after you finished the tour. So we've got some like little kind of magical, kind of almost like wheezy wheezy wheeze things here. This is meant to have, you meant to have a deluminator, be able to turn on the lamp and turn it off again. We all bought one last year or the year before and none of them worked. So I don't quite understand how that's even possible. Then we go down, we've got some like little kind of muggle cards and stuff like that. Then we have the Weasley Wizard Wheeze extendable ear, which I do have because we bought it for Monica when she was little, when we first came to the tour for Christmas. And bless her, when she moved out to move to London, she gave me all her stuff. So I now have it myself and it's amazing. You can get toy wands here, which I think is brilliant. These are really good for the younger generations of children who are coming into the Harry Potter world because they do fantastic Hogwarts play sets. Why didn't they have this when I was little? Do you know what I mean? I'm so disappointed. They had play sets, but they weren't as cool as those things down there. There's no price on it at all. That's a bit odd, don't you think? Yeah. We have to go to the till and ask them. So if you can't find the price. And you've got the, the hat I bought, which is good, but it is exactly the same as the one I already bought years ago. So I'm taking it back. I haven't done it yet. I need to send it. You can send it free of charge, but I haven't been able to send mine yet. Now I have just noticed a few dark mark stuff over here. I may have to have that pin as well. That pin is gorgeous. I love that, seven pound. I may have to have that pin. I'll just stroke it until it's time to buy it. <laughs> we've got the same thing there as a key ring. And then we've got the dark mark there as well. I said to Adam, I said, look, I said, I'm really into my dark arts. What about me having a dark arts tattoo on my, on my arm, like the dark, dark mark? No. He said I'd, I would regret it. Would I regret it? Tell me, would I regret it? I need to know. Answers in the comments, please. Would I regret getting a dark mark tattoo done? Not like a massive one. And it would be more of like, um, more as like a, a, like a ghostly kind of image of the dark mark, you know, that sort of thing. Um, so it wouldn't be like full on dark mark, like black. I'm not like, I'm not like that dark. I'm dark, but I'm not that dark. But I'm, I'm tempted. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Should I get it done? Would you? Would you let? Would you say to me, Victoria, get it done? Because I need to know. Let me know in the comments. Anyway, back to the shop. We've got some pins now. They don't have a massive selection like they do in the wizarding world and it does disappoint me because one of the reasons why i used to love coming to the tour was because they had the most amazing collection of pin badges they were the epitome the treasures the number one of harry potter pin badges and yet they don't have a massive selection anymore it's disappointing i am disappointed warner brothers please 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 add more pin badge items more like exclusive to the tour items because we would go nuts for them we seriously would go nuts for the tour pin badges they would be outstandingly good oh they've got a lovely bertie box keyring down there i like that should we have a look Shall we have a oh look at that how kelt is that that is kelt i like that now bless geeking out with melly has sent me that one in my box different packaging though it's the wizarding world one but she sent me that in my box oh no i have got to have that i have got to have that that has got to be done. It's got to be, I've got to have it. I have to have it. I will take it to the tail and I will ask them to put it in the box. So we've got the new 
Harry Potter film wizardry updated edition for all sorts of things so that's sold here they also sell the film the original film wizardry which I think has the Borgen and Burke's catalogue and everything in it as well not 100% sure but it's worth it for the things that you can pull out of it they are amazing these books Mina Lima do a spectacular job they even have which I didn't notice before they've got House of Mina Lima section in Warner Brothers that's amazing it's only small compared to the original obviously the house of Mina Lima which is in Soho and the one that was in, in the New York shop which is a lot bigger but I love this this is so good I'm having to look over the top of my glasses because I can't see blooming anything because it's far away look at all this oh look at that look at that little detail isn't that brilliant oh my god I love it I've got that tote bag. I freaking love it. I don't know what I've done with it. It's somewhere, but I don't know what I've done with it. Oh, look at Mira and Eduardo. Aren't they just the most adorable people? I love them so much. They are so amazing. Love it, love it, love it. Look at all of this. Oh, the notebooks are amazing. The cards. Remember what I said about the cards? You can't afford to buy the premium prints, right? However, you can buy the cards, okay? Like for this example, you can get this and it's like £99 for the premium print, for the foiled print, which means foiled, basically. You can get the card that's foiled and it's only, I think it's £5, £4, £4. So get a beautiful print and get this and put it in. I did a whole video on it, so make sure you check out the video because I really do think it's a great idea. You can't afford the premium prints. You don't need to afford the premium prints. You know, yes, they're limited edition and once they're sold out, that's it, they're done. However, when you've got, like, you know, you've, you're struggling with money in the bank, but you really want a lovely print from Mina Lima, just get a card. They're cheaper on the website. I think they're £3.49 or something like that they are. But here we have the beautiful posters. You want to send some posters home? You know, you don't know what to buy somebody when you're here visiting or you want to deck out your bedroom or your office. Look at the prints you can choose from. They are absolutely wicked love it love it love it got a little bit of a stationary bit coming on down and down here we've got different houses we got real life quills that are actually pens you can buy a quill you've got wax the wax and um, like letter seal things there which are really lovely i love that i love that they've got that they got beautiful notebooks as well you can even get the uh, the noble collection pens here as well the house pens so obviously this is hufflepuff you got your Hufflepuff notebook, you've got a little kind of little kiddies tops and then you've got bigger notebooks above a Gryffindor, you've got some writing paper down the bottom, you've got your quills in the right colour. Then we go over, you've got Slytherin, so you've got your wax seals again, you've got your notebooks, you've got bigger notebooks. I love these noble collection notebooks, they are to die for. I have the Ravenclaw one, freaking love it. Then we've got all of these beautiful ones here. Okay, tell me, why have we not got blue quill? Why? Have we not got, oh they're saying that Slytherin's got black, fair enough. Why have we not got a blue quill? I'm, I'm not happy about that. <laughs> I want a blue quill. We've got Ravenclaw all going on. Oh, love it. That's the notebook I've got. Love it. Then we've got some, I think this is writing parchment, Hogwarts writing parchment. You've got little houses, Ravenclaw houses as well. Um, they've got Honeydukes one as well. Or is it Chocolate Frog one? No, they've got Chocolate Frog one, sorry. I will show you that when we get to Honeydukes. Yes, they have a Honeydukes. Oh, look at this little plush Luna. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Isn't she just adorable? I love it. You can get little things here, like you've got the Diagon Alley sign, a metal sign there. How much is that? £15. That's not bad. You'd be paying more on eBay or Amazon, wouldn't you? And that's officially licensed, that is. I'd love to have that above my bedroom, uh, my um, Harry Potter room door. Okay, so we're going to the gym section now. So you know I did the video on the gym set. Well, this is the full gym set you can buy. So you've got the water bottles. No, that's the, that's the London one, sorry. This isn't the gym section. This is the exclusive London section, which I've got to be honest, I'm not actually that impressed with. It's, it's, is that bad? Am I saying something?
don't think bad. Not as impressed with the London stuff as I am the New York stuff, although the New York stuff is very similar. Then this is the gym section. This is the gym section. So we've got things like the gym vests and stuff. We've got the Quidditch top that I showed you in my video. The leggings aren't here. So, oh yes, they are, they're behind me. I didn't see them earlier. I love the gym bag. I won't get it, but I do love the gym bag. You've got the water bottle as well. I've got um, an advanced potion making water bottle, so I prefer that one. And I love the Ravenclaw tankard that I got the other day. Then we've got plushies here. We've got little pickets, which are just so adorable. How much is it? It's eight pound. That's really cute. Look how cute he is. He's adorable. You can just hear him talking, can't you? So we've got the mandrakes that I showed you earlier. He is just so cute. And we've got little mandrakes. They've only got the little ones here. I haven't seen the big ones. But we've got the big Monster Book of Monster Monsters. And I don't think I've seen the little Monster Book of Monsters. They do two different sizes. And then we have... This is obviously the sportswear. So we've got the bag, we've got the leggings that were not comfortable. Really bad. I didn't like them. But I quite like the vest. I wouldn't wear it, but I quite like the vest because when I saw it, I thought the gold went all the way around. But it doesn't. It has like this pattern on the, the back of it. So it's not so bad, you know. It's not too bad. Okay, we're going into the plushy section. So be prepared for squeals because I might squeal. So we've got, I showed this to Janice, we've got a little plush pixie, and look at the size of him, he's adorable, he's £18, I think that's a little bit much, I would have said £14, £15, I would have, but isn't he cute, he's got the most sparkly blue wings, and you know how much I love my sparkle, sparkly blue wings, so we've got the bendable, these are the these are Cornish pigs, but they are noble collection. They've actually, if you go to the Forbidden Forest, right, the Forbidden Forest is full of them. It's really funny. And then we've got, obviously, we've got pygmy puffs down here. We've got the purple ones. We've got the pink ones. And then we have the ginormous pink ones down below. We've got your whole Lego section, including the deluxe Hogwarts Express, which is very pricey and makes you cross your eyes and wish you didn't have a bank account but the rest of it is not too bad the only thing i wish they did is they did more of the the newer ones like uh, grimald place and the ministry of magic you know this is it the second task with harry potter with the uh, with goblet of fire i wish they did have those sets in here because those ones are the new ones and then we got the hedwig section with pig widgeon i think there we got more Hedwig, little tiny Hedwigs for all those little, yeah, Pigwidgeon and Hedwig look. They became friends, didn't they? Oh, they're so cute. I've got a Pigwidgeon from um, Loot Crate when I used to get Loot Crate all the time. They got more beautiful plushies. Look at Hagrid. Look at, oh, no, his glasses come off. <laughs> Put that one back. Look at Hagrid. Look at him with his glasses. He's 32 pound. I think he's brilliant. <laughs> Robbie Coltrane is so amazing. Who's going to replace Hagrid? Somebody said, why not Stephen Fry? I don't know. I don't know. Stephen Fry's getting old, love him. I mean, this series is going to go on for a long time. So they're probably going to have to get the younger actors so they don't have to worry about replacing them later on. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? That sort of thing, you know. So having a nice like um i don't know maybe 40s 50s dumbledore perhaps what about dumbledore's um dumbledore's son? richard harris no not richard yeah richard harris's son i can't remember his blooming name now but richard harris's son looks just like richard harris it would be amazing if they had him as dumbledore in this new series wouldn't that be absolutely incredible if he played his dad's role i love that idea we got unicorns, we've got the Ukrainian iron belly with really scary teeth. We have more unicorns, we've got these. I went all the way to the shop in Orlando to get this. Really struggled to get them to do anything just then. We've got Fang, I do like Fang's plush. I just hit him on the head, it's all right. I do like Fang's plush. He is cute, he's 26 pounds, but he's really big. I do like him. 
We've got baby nifflers down here. Yeah, that's I'm not too keen on their niffler. I prefer the Noble Collection ones. The Noble Collection ones look more like nifflers. These look like weird platypuses with black hair. But I still have him. I still bought him. I'm not going to lie. I do like his pocket. He has got a very, very, very deep pocket. He's really cute. I remember when these rucksacks were almost impossible to get hold of and now they're everywhere. They are so beautiful, these nif uh, niffler rucksacks. They are so adorable. Mine's been put away though. No, it hasn't. It's in my bedroom. I lie. It's in my bedroom. I have got him up. This is one of my favourite sections. Can you guess why? Yeah, you're all shouting at me, aren't you? Yeah, it's because the Deathly Hallows, we know how much you love the dark arts, Victoria. Well, yes, I do. Okay, for those of you just joining us, I do like my dark arts. Oh my God. They have the mug that is at Wizarding World in Florida. Oh, no. I freaking love this mug. I'm having this mug. It's £15 and I'm getting it. Oh, my life it's being done i'm getting it i was actually really apprehensive about buying anything from the shop because i knew there was something i wanted they bought these plates out you'll see it when i do my unveiling later they've obviously bought these these new things out right and i put them behind the till so we wouldn't have to carry them around so we haven't paid for them yet but they're behind the till and um i I was talking to Maria because she's come, this is like a 60 something visit this is and I was talking to her and I was like oh my god I can't believe I picked those things up I spent so much money blah 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 she said they're only this much they were only like 15 pound and I couldn't believe it so I have picked up this cup and this pin badge for the exact reason that what I picked up earlier was nowhere near the price I thought it was going to be so I'm very excited they haven't got as much here in the dark arts range as they do have in the wizarding world so maybe they're making room or something perhaps I'm not too sure I don't know about this it's very nice but I don't know the dark mark it's it's kind of a piece of like plywood that's like got a pattern on it it's 22 pound I'm not sure about it it's like a well, like a wall plaque sort of thing I don't know it's nice but I don't know if it's 22 pounds worth do you know what i mean we've just got little things here there and everywhere dotted the deathly hallows little bag i think that's daniella nicole isn't it this one or is this harry potter studios no this is the harry potter studios we've got the normal things obviously you've got, you've got uh, watches and stuff you've got little sparkly tops i mean you know i mean i love my sparkle but that's a little bit too much sparkle for me right i do draw the line at masses of sparkle although i think when i die i want to be cremated and put into a, can a confetti cannon full of glitter <laughs> <laughs> and then they can set it off wherever they like oh my god can you imagine having that done that would be so funny okay you know what i've just said right you guys gotta make it happen now if i'm not here anymore victoria said she wanted this this is the prop from the goblet of fire it's a really beautiful prop and it's a genuine prop from the goblet of fire how beautiful is that it is exquisite. I love it. I don't know who he's meant to be, but he's so sad. But it's so beautifully done. That's what I mean. At wherever you look, there's something from the films that people don't realise. Oh my God, that's from the films. Like up there, look at the size of that bone. Is that meant to be like a dinosaur bone? Or maybe something else we don't know, do we? It could be a dragon bone. Probably is a dragon bone, isn't it? And then we've got part of the ceiling up there. And that then goes over the official robes of Snape that you can buy here. I think they're like 450. You can buy all sorts of costumes in the Wizarding World, but this is the only one, apart from the kids, um, Hermione Granger, that you can actually buy here. They're quite thin. It's not the best material, but his material, his robes were very flowy, weren't they? They were incredibly flowy. But I love this. You can buy it here. Although I don't know, actually. I can't see a price on it. You could buy it here. I wonder if it's because they're not selling it anymore. And it's just here for decoration because it's been here for so long. It's very dusty. We've got some cauldron, bowls and cups as well for your breakfast. And some, like some soup or something, whatever you prefer. We've got some dark plushies. We've got some festral plushies. We've got Aragog plushies. We've got some Nargini or, actually it's probably Nargini isn't it? We've got some Nargini plushies as well. 
So we've got some fluffy ones down there and of course my Borgen & Burks t-shirt which you see me wearing all the time. Because I love my Borgen & Burks. We have some spell vests, one Guardian Leviosa. Now that's what I like. That's the sort of sparkle I like. It's subtle, but it's so sparkly. Don't know if you can see that in there, but that is proper sparkly. Very sparkly indeed. Got some really nice Wingardium Leviosa spell. Oh my God. They feel amazing. Okay, I'm having a look. Hang on, what sizes are we going? Right, XXL. I mean, I'm not an XXXL, but... Right, give me a minute. They're incredibly thin. 27 quid, that's not bad. They'd probably drown me on my legs. That's quite wide. That's one leg, okay? That's quite big. But I do like them. What do you think? I really like those. Right, I'm going to have a look to see what size they have. Because the XL, I think, would be the double XL, I think, is going to drown me, especially with me losing weight. So let's have a Luke, as I like to say. The girls, I'm sure, are having a wonderful time in the studios. Let's have a look what we got what we got right we've got an xl here they go all the way up to double xl so that's not bad so you know for bigger for bigger for b the bigger people you know that's not bad but i don't want to go like so big that i'm uncomfortable i feel like they're falling down or something they still feel huge but then to be fair you don't want to go like too because if i show you if i get like a really big size that's, I can see the screen, that's really see-through. So if I got like too small, it would look too, it would be like white. And then if I got um, too big, they're gonna fall off me. But I do really like those. I'd like to try them on, but I don't know if you can. So I don't know, we'll have a look. There's plenty of them. So it's one of those things I think I'm going to have a look to see what, how I feel and then I'm going to go from there I think. I'll see how I feel. They're here, there's loads of pairs. There's, there's loads of pairs so it's not like I'm going to you know, struggle to find a pair. This is where you come out of the top. So you've got your exit which I'll walk down to now so I'll show you where you come out for those of you who have never been before. So that is the wand room in there. And that is where my friend Donna should be working today because it's the weekend. I love her. If there's anything you need to know about wands, who's wand, where's wand, every, everywhere else is wand. Because anyone who was cast or crew on Harry Potter has a wand box in there with their name on. And she knows where everything is. And if she doesn't, she has a book that tells her. She is absolutely amazing. So Donna is exceptional. But this is where you come out of. So this is technically Ollivander's. So here we've got like their newer ranges. So when you come out, you've got Diagon Alley stuff when it was, it was here last and I had to have, you know, half of it. Uh, but I'd already bought it online, so it was fine. But this is obviously where the little creature stuff, like the baby creatures are. However, I bought a pen and the pen is already broken. I only used it once to write something on a pad when I was doing some work the other day and the nib went into the pen and I cannot get it out. So I'm gonna have to try and take it back with me tomorrow perhaps so I was a bit disappointed at that so I really like the pen with um, the niffler on it and the pens are normally brilliant but this pen broke straight away so I was not happy about it so this is sometimes where they have their discounted stuff as well um, there is also a shop in the middle by the Forbidden Forest where they do discounted stuff sometimes it's shut at the moment as far as I know but it could be open today I'm not sure but it has been shut the last few times so you've got little like notebooks and stuff you've got Hogwarts stuff here you've got like um, thermoses, you've got Hogwarts hats, beautiful Hogwarts scarves. I do love those colours. Then we've got the goblets again. I'm not sure what this is. How Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Oh, it's a little stationery set. That's pretty. I like that. I do. I like this as well. That is gorgeous. Love that pad. It's a magnet for the fridge, it is. How brilliant is that? I love that. Then we've got more plushies. We've got a little Dobby. And of course, yes, Janice already has this Dobby. I think actually she has more than one because it's Janice. 
she has a stupid amount of Dobbies. Dobby is a free elf. And then Dobby t-shirt, which I think Janice has already got. I'm not sure, Jan. This, this, this mug is the first mug I ever bought in the Harry Potter studio tour. I paid about 12 or 15 pound for it. And this is now £9.95. That is ridiculously cheap for the size of that mug. That is massive. You could use that as a bowl. And then we've got little stationery sets as well. We've got a lovely display of the Marauders map, which you can buy here. You can also buy the Marauders map game. I think that's what this is. I have this, but I had it as a little gift from one of Monica's friends who was moving to Australia. Um, for the price of it, I would say it's not very good. It says, with appearing footprints and sound effects, which it does, tap the wand on I solemnly swear I'm up to no good to begin the fun. See Harry, Ron and Hermione and, and Snape and Dumbledore walking. That's all it does. And you have to like get Harry out of one area into another one so he doesn't get found. But, and you turn it off by saying mischief, mischief, tapping mischief managed. It's like, how much is it? £50. I don't think it's worth £50. I wouldn't have paid £50 for it. However, I do actually like it. But I wouldn't say it's £50 worth. But it is fun. We've got some more Marauders. We've got a lovely Marauders scarf. Now, I've actually got the original one of those. It's actually the same colour as the original map as well so it's beautiful we've got a dobby plushie and of course janice made a beeline for this dobby plushie who looks more like winky but the wrong color skirt or top on it's 18 pounds all the new plushies are 18 pound i like that lithograph one that's nice these ones are brilliant these dobbies it doesn't work no oh, i think you've got to pull it out no, they look all dead. I had a brand new one from the box I did. I asked if they go back back and get me a brand new one. And then we've got Ollivanders. So you've got your exclusive ones here that are the, um, oh, the exclusive collection of designer ones. So this is where you can get your diadem, your diadem wand. You can get your Slytherin mascot one. You can get the locket wand. You can get your Ukrainian iron belly, your Thestral, your Ravenclaw mascot. You can get the Phoenix, the Sword of Gryffindor. You can get the Hufflepuff Cup one. You can get a Bow Trucker one. You can get the Hogwarts Art Architecture one, which is obviously my favourite. Then you can go over this side and you can see other ones as well. But they are absolutely beautiful. But this is where you can get yours. And of course, the Golden Snitch wand as well, which I did buy last time when I went to New York but I paid normal price for it so I was really 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 pleased over here is where you can try all your ones these are all the ones they have in stock now if there's a space there's no box it means they haven't got any in stock if you want a specific wand when you come come into the shop before you go into the tour one it means you get to take your wand with you and you can be part of the tour with the wand and that way you don't miss out on a wand that you specifically want because the amount of time they come in here and the boxes have disappeared because they've run out of stock. So make sure you get your wand as soon as you come to the tour. Then we've got these. I don't know if they're on today, but all of this opens, like things open, the door opens, the drawers come down, the drawers all open and it does like different things. It's really cool when you get to watch it, but it doesn't always do it, unfortunately. And then obviously you've got all your one displays up here. You have, it's raining outside Ollivander's at the moment. So, you know, it's very, very, very Welsh weather. I brought it with me, I think. It's like a maze going back through to find your way to the bit that you want to get to, but we're getting there. And then we come to Honeydukes. How amazing is this? This is where Harry goes to straight away. It's so funny. He's straight away to Honey Dukes and he always picks up the Honey Dukes lollipop. They are massive. Look at the size up to my hand. They're huge. You can get smaller ones as well, but he, of course he goes to that one, doesn't he? He loves the blood pops, so maybe I'll get him one of those later. Again, with the lollies, a lot of them end up broken by the end of the day. So if you want something specific, get it before you go into the tour. 
um, and then put it in your cloakroom because you can do that, the cloakroom is free. So buy some from the tour if you're desperate because they don't tend to restock the shelves. However, there's something you know is here. They can look in the back and find something if they do have it in stock. Now, I will tell you Harry's secret, but you have to promise me not to tell anybody. This is a dead, this is like a really important secret now when it comes to the chocolate frogs, yeah? Can't tell anyone. This is between us, yeah? Just, just me and you. He does it and he does it every single time he gets a rare card. I don't know how he does it, he just does. Anyway, well I do know how he does it, but he's always lucky. Anyway, these are the dark chocolates. If you wanna get a dark chocolate, they're on this side. They've got like the rose gold look to their boxes. So this is a dark chocolate chocolate frog. It's a rose gold color. Yeah, so it's a different color to the other ones. But Harry, right, he says always get a chocolate frog from the back right at the back he said because they're the ones that people don't necessarily get hold of and he always ends up managing to get a rare card so always get your chocolate frog from the back of the shelf but that's a secret between you and me right don't tell harry i told you because he'll never speak to me again actually tell him because it'll be peaceful right so i've picked up one of these because look at that how beautiful is that the pin is the same pattern it's 22 pounds so it's a little bit more expensive than maria thought it was she thought it was 18 pound however that's still really good so i've only picked up a handful of things but i really like that it's beautiful you can get all your chocolate from here the rate the hufflepuff one is the best one i must admit we've tried them all fudge flies absolutely love fudge flies and i love peppermint toads as well they are delicious so then we come over to obviously Bertie Bott's every flavor beans and they are doing the Bertie Bott's every flavor beans plate how gorgeous is that that is 15 so she was right about that one there are three and we can only find two of them so no one of the uh, two of them sorry there's one that isn't here that i can't find but we've got obviously we've got bertie bots every flavor bean which normally have if you look online that you could find your list of them i'm not sure fizz and whispies are delicious maria blesser has given given us a little goodie bag it's like being in an airbnb of all these different things bonbon exploding bonbons are lovely as well they're really tasty um, so we've got more plates there as well. Again, these are the normal chocolate frogs. So this is milk chocolate. Remember the secret at the back of the shelf, yeah? Back of the shelf. These are the Noble Collection chocolate frog. Is it Noble Collection? Chocolate frog cushions with a chocolate frog inside. I love them. I have one, it's so beautiful. Now, this is new. This is new, right? Look at this. Look at that stationery set. How beautiful is that? I love that. Then they have the selection boxes, chocolate frog selection box. However, if you go on the website, these are they're 12 pound, right? The teddy that comes the teddy you can get as well is 30 something pound. You can buy these and the teddy together for only 40. You save a fortune if you want the teddy. The teddy's big as well. So what they've got new at the moment is they've got puzzles i'm not sure what they look like this is the chocolate frog one i love it i don't even know what it looks like right but i love it it's 27 pounds it's 508 pieces but i love the fact that it's in a box it's a shame they do a chocolate frog that size because it's massive but they also do which i really like the look of it's bertie bot's every flavor bean puzzle as well Look at that. That's a thousand pieces. It's quite big. And that is also £27. But it's the packaging I like. I really like that packaging. It's a really nice item. And then they've got Bertie Bot's Every Flavour Bean stationery set, which is all sparkly. Look at that. Oh, that's all sparkly. Oh dear, we are in trouble, aren't we? Because I'm spending too much bloody money. That's also £27. And it's got washi tape as well. A rubber. 
oh no that's not as a paper clip with a giant picture on the top of it and little sticky notes and stuff they're very new i like the whole stationary as uh, stationary aspect i do like that now at the moment online you can buy the butterbeer cup this humongous butterbeer cup which is beautiful that's 15 pound okay and a pack of four butterbeer right which is there you can buy it as a set online i think it's like 30 something pound for the two but i actually think that's very good i also love this like little lunch bag butterbeer lunch bag 15 pound i do like that that's really sweet so and we've got some really lovely butterbeer tankard mugs as well which i do like they're like the original ones i love them okay so we've got honey duke's lollipops as well love that and i also i, I wouldn't recommend eating the sweets on the shelves though because i think they've been there quite a while what do you think but look how pretty it all looks i love the colors i love the like the mint green so pretty this is the other plate look i have picked up one of these i really really like that they have got a chocolate frog one coming but it's not in yet so i will keep nagging maria look do you recognize the honey jukes hat that my wonderful friend geeking out with melly sent me and they do a matching scarf not too sure about the scarf but i definitely love the hat love the hat we've got lots of like toffee fudge as well honeycomb then we've got honey jukes mug look at that for a cappuccino mug look at that i've got that i love it and i love the little trinket trays as well how beautiful are they i love them 12 pound that is then we've got lots of gringotts coins for your gringotts shelf chocolate ones we used to buy these for the kids every christmas whenever we came they'd be in their stocking maria's picked up one of these hogsmeade honey duke bags tote bags as well really nice you can also get lovely butterbeer towel as well which is all lovely and rolled up for you that is 10 pound what else have we got where are the bottles of butterbeer here we are they only do the packs of butterbeer though not the single ones the single ones are actually bigger the bottles are actually bigger than the ones you get in the four pack 12 pound 95 these are so they are really really nice i prefer this butterbeer to the one in the shop the one that you can get from here in the middle i much prefer this butterbeer i'm a bit odd but i think it's probably other people like that they do have a new program as well i already have this i'm pretty sure look at that little face isn't he just adorable isn't it weird to think that somebody else is going to be playing harry potter soon it's so strange it's just the whole idea of it is so weird isn't it really 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 odd really strange it does get busy in the shop however they are very good at, if there's anything you ever need they are there for you they will do anything for you they are brilliant like that so they will do absolutely anything whatever you need so they've got obviously the house things as well here they're on the website i'm not too keen on these house ones they do the, the kiddie versions as well but i've never been really really fussed on them so they have the christmas section so they've got up to 30 percent off on these which obviously you saw me with me last year so this is at the moment these are the prices it's quite dark i'm afraid so you can't really see it very well so that is down to 14 pound they've got the spirit jersey that i love that's still a lot of money when you put it up so i don't know we'll see i don't know we'll see we'll see when i come back i think they got beautiful charmed aroma candles in here now that are also on the website for those of you who can't get to the tour they were only available in the us but they're now available in the uk as well so here we have this is the exclusive section to harry potter london this is what i love i love 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 this print t-shirt 
absolutely love this. I bought the red one behind me, which I'll show you in a minute, because they didn't have this one in my size. It was very devastated, but I might pick it up today. I don't know. I've got so many t-shirts. I might get it, I don't know. And they've obviously got a hoodie to match. They've only got small and medium in the t-shirts, so that's what's been happening whenever I've been coming. And then over here, then you've got the other version of the exclusive to the tour, which is the Ukrainian iron belly and so on. And the hoodies, you've got the, the uh, beakers as well, the mugs, the notebooks. So they have so much here for everybody. Oh, I think that's it. I think I finished. I can't think of anything else I need to film. I'm done. I am done. I've not been here long and I'm already exhausted. It's still the morning. I feel like I've been here all day. <laughs> Well, that's it. That's the, the shop finished. I'm going to go find everyone in the tour now. I'm exhausted. I'm so tired. I, I literally could just go and find one of the sleeping bags and go lay down the one from Prison of Azkaban. I really could right now. I'm so blooming tired. But this has been amazing. This is a really bad video that I've done because now I want half the shop. Because normally when we come in the evening, when, we come in the, when we're here in the morning, we're here till it closes and we have to be so quick in the shop that we have to rush around and quickly get what we wanted and then we're missing out on half the stuff we could have bought so today's been really bad because i've seen loads of stuff that i didn't realize was here but now i've done it now i'm i'm here i'm done i've done it i've only walking out with a couple of things i'm really proud of myself so yeah that's it thank you so much for joining me today until next time take care i love you all and i'll speak to you very soon content take a look at this video right here or this video right here don't forget to like and subscribe